In 2008, which was a year of supposed food crisis, we grew enough food to feed 11 billion people. Most of it was not eaten by humans as food, however. A great deal of it was fed to animals, about half, to feed our meat habit. And a great deal, especially in the United States, was fed to automobiles, because we're driving our cars on food right now. So it, it is not a question of the yield of the arable land we have, so much as to what use we're putting all this food we're growing. People say organic can't feed the world. If you look at the research, you shouldn't take that as a premise of a discussion. That's an assertion. In fact, there was a recent review of the literature that found that in industrial areas, organic achieves 92% of the yield of industrial. But you go to the developing world, and it produces 182% of current yields. So if the developing world were to adapt organic production, they would have a tremendous increase in yield. Industrial agriculture depends on huge amounts of fossil fuel. To produce this kind of processed food, it takes 10 calories of fossil fuel energy to produce one calorie of food energy. You know, this is a system ostensibly based on photosynthesis. <laughs> there should be a way to get more energy rather than less when you're producing food. And there is under certain systems. In the same way we're going to have to learn how to drive an industrial economy without a lot of fossil fuel, we're going to have to learn how to create a lot of food without a lot of fossil fuel.